Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue talking about probability and specific the concept of conditional probability, okay? It's got a fancy sounding name. If I had to choose a subtitle for this, it would be uh, the, the multiplication rule of, of probability. Last section, we had the addition rule of probability. A lot of times you'll hear this called the, the multiplication rule of probability, okay? So if you want to just do a quick review, in the last section, we were talking about the probability of two events, A or B. What is the probability of A or B occurring? And we found out that we add A plus B uh, minus the intersection of the two. That's what we talked about in the last section. In this section, we're going to be concerned with probability of A and B. The two events happening, what's the probability of two of them occurring uh, at the same time? Okay, and so we're going to we'll look at two, two different events and we're going to look at both of them basically occurring at the same time. So just to kind of give you a little bit of motivation, I'm going to draw kind of a, a little bit of information off the last section and apply it to this section. I think it's going to make it easy for you. In the last section, we were talking about the probability of A union with B, which is basically or. Okay, A or B or both. Okay, and we found out that that was the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersected with B, which is uh, A and B. Okay, and that's something you can go off and look in the last section and, and remind yourself of, okay? So, you know, we were drawing Venn diagrams in the last section with A and B, and there was a little intersected region, but what we were trying to find was the a or B, so it, the whole thing shaded all the way across. That's what we we're trying to find, and that's what that thing actually calculates. Now, notice what we were doing is we were basically adding the two probabilities together, A or B. We add them together because we're trying to make the total probability higher. If you have two events that, that can occur, and now you're trying to, like pulling out of a deck of cards, and you pulled an ace or you pull a, a king, well, if I'm looking at A or B, the total probability should be higher than either one of the um, events A or B because now I'm looking at either or so the probability should be higher so I'm adding them together to make the probability higher okay now hold that in your brain because now we're going to try to find the probability of A and B A and B okay we were doing this some in the last section just by using our logic but now we're going to be a little bit more rigorous about it and say well I have event A and event B and I want to know what's the probability of both of them happening at the same time and if you just think about it for a second um, whereas before when I was looking at A or B the total probability of that those two things should be the sum of their individual probabilities because you're you're really making the probability higher when you have two events and you're looking for either or but now if I have two events that can occur and I'm interested in the probability of A and B happening at the same time, it kind of makes sense that the total probability should be lower because now I have event A and event B and it's not good enough for A to happen by itself and it's not good enough for B to happen by itself. They both have to line up and happen at exactly the same time. So the total probability of those two things and it together should be lower than their individual probabilities because now I'm, I'm putting the constraint on both of them having to occur at the same time. How do you do that mathematically? How do you make the probability smaller? Well, we're going to multiply them, okay? The probability of A times, I'm going to write something down, don't freak out, I'm going to explain it to you. The probability of B given that A has occurred. That's what this notation means. I'm going to come back to it in a second. Basically, you have the probability of A and the probability of B, and you're multiplying it. And don't forget, probabilities are fractions. All of them are fractions. I mean, unless you have zero or one, pretty much any probability in the middle is a fraction. So if I have one 